Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and yesterday I decided to give myself a challenge. I wanted to know if I could create a wolf mask that turned out halfway decent <laughs> in just three hours. And I actually had an excuse for that. I have heard from two different, I think sixth graders, actually their mothers contacted me and let me know that the kids had kind of forgot to tell anybody that they had an art project due tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine myself doing that. But these kids actually got their wolf mask done in time for school the next day. And they actually, they actually did it. It worked. And I figured if they can do it, I want to find out if I could do it too. I started this guy yesterday morning at 7.30. And I got it done at 10.25. So I was actually five minutes short. I should have taken maybe an extra five minutes to, to put a little bit more detail on him. <laughs> But I wanted to see if I could make him look, you know, like it would get a, a decent grade if I took it to school. And I, I think it came out pretty nice. I actually wouldn't mind wearing this. Turned out a whole lot better than I expected it to, to be honest. Now, because both of those boys used the wolf mask, that's what I decided to do. And they made a really good choice, actually. I, I think you can see from these back here and all the other patterns that I've got on my website, I don't actually design patterns for kids. This one was one of the first ones I ever made. It's the easiest one to make and it's also one of the least expensive. It was only seven dollars. So if you're trying to talk your mom into buying a pattern <laughs> because you forgot your homework, that, that you know the extra savings it can really make a big difference. So this one was a good choice. I made it exactly like the pattern said to do, but when I was putting it together, I realized that I have come up with an easier way to make the eyebrows. I have just recently updated the instructions to show you how you could make the eyebrows easier than my original pattern. I'm going to go ahead and run through this video really fast and show you how I did it, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, as soon as you get the pattern and download it, you want to print it on some paper. I use labels but you might not have any so just go ahead and print it on regular paper and use a glue stick to stick it to some cereal box cardboard. I don't eat cereal so I don't have any so what you're going to have to do is pretend that the back of this has uh, Cheerios written on it or something. Now go ahead and stick your pattern onto the cardboard. I'm going to do it the easy way you know with these labels but if you don't have labels like I said just use regular paper and a glue stick, but make sure that you stick it on really good. Cutting it out took a little bit over half an hour, partly because I had to go get myself a cup of coffee too. <laughs> now I'm not going to show you every single step of putting the pattern together because there's already a full video on the wolf mask pattern page and I'll put a link to that down below so you can see it if you want to. It took me half an hour. It might take you 45 minutes, maybe a little bit longer to put it together. Now we have to decide at this point do we have time to put paper mache on it. If you put paper mache on it and actually have time to let it dry and then paint it, you can keep this forever. I mean it as long as you keep it dry it will last a really long time. But let's assume that you don't have time for the paper mache. So what I'm going to do is cheat. One young fellow actually just got it to this point and then spray painted it. <laughs> and actually, it didn't turn out bad. I'll put a link to his post down below. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on here first. It, it is going to take probably 10 or 15 minutes to completely cover this with masking tape, but I just think it's going to look a little bit better if we're trying to um, convince our teacher that we did this on purpose. Almost everybody has masking tape somewhere. We're going to put it on the same way we would if we were using paper mache. Like sometimes you have to tear it like I just did in order to get it to go around a corner like that. I'm going to squish it down just as flat as I can. Sometimes the masking tape will kind of come up on the corners depending on you know, what brand it is and stuff. Doing the nose is a little tricky because I don't want to lose the, the shape under the tape. Just poking it down into that nostril around the edges. That seems to work. I think it's still going to show up after it's painted. And I can already tell that even even though I've only done this part so far, uh, it is 
a lot stiffer and stronger than it was before without the extra tape. There, that, that's gonna that's gonna work. Okay, that took a little longer than I expected. It took about 40 minutes. So if you're in a real hurry, or if you don't have any masking tape, you might want to skip that part. The one last thing I want to do is I'm I'm just decided just for fun. I'm gonna give them some fur. Am I gonna like it? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna do this. It's probably gonna take another five minutes. So now we gotta figure out how to finish it. So I rummaged around in the garage in the basement and I, I did find, uh, I, I think I have some black paint. There's, there's some in there and this one doesn't have a cap on it but I think that's black too. And I've got some white primer but I don't want a white wolf. I think I want a black one. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna do that in the garage because I don't want the fumes from spray paint all over the house. So I'm going to take it outside and do that. And then I'll have to let it dry at least 20 minutes. And then uh, we'll have to, to see if we want to add any details after it's painted. While the spray paint was drying, I mixed up some black paint and some white paint. Because I don't want the, the mask to be just totally black. Although, if you look at photographs on Google for black wolf, some of them are really got nothing on them except black. So you could get away with it. And now I'm going to go see if the wolf is dry. He's dry already? Boy, I'm really liking him. And I'm almost afraid to add anything to it. I think maybe I'm going to go with really, really dark gray. I was going to put some lighter stuff on there, but I'm it's just making me real nervous. And I'm just, I think maybe just under his eye. If I really don't like it, I can always take it back and spray paint it again. But we don't really have time for that, do we? Maybe just... A little bit up here on top of his eyebrow. Not usually like a minimalist or anything when I'm making these, but it's just, um, it looks so cool just being totally black. I'm really much more hesitant about it than I usually am. Now, if I had used the white spray paint instead, um, then his nose would be black and there'd be a lot of black right around the front of his muzzle and black right around his eyes. Okay, I'm, I'm stopping. I, I really like it. So I think that actually turned out pretty good. We've got three cereal boxes in here. There's some masking tape, uh, some spray paint, a little bit of acrylic paint. And I think it turned out actually, um, like I said, a whole lot better than I expected it to. Do make sure though, if you're going to use masking tape, uh, make sure before you get started that it doesn't curl up on the corners because a lot of different brands of masking tape do that. This is 3M and this actually did work really well, but I've, I've had a lot of problems with masking tape in the past where it would just, you just couldn't keep it stuck down. So you want to test it first. And I just thought of something that I forgot to mention. If you don't want to use spray paint, your acrylic paint might not stick to masking tape. So be sure to test it before you get started if you don't want to use the uh, spray paint at all. If you really know how to use spray paint, you could make a, a gray wolf that looked very realistic just using the paint itself. I'm, I'm not any good at that sort of thing. Just plain black was <laughs> about my limit. If you happen to be a teacher, <laughs> Let me know what you think. Would this get a, a decent grade in sixth grade? And if you're a parent, would you approve of this kind of project for, for your kid if he just happened to, to forget <laughs> to do his homework? Let me know what you think. And in the meantime, come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.